Hey guys, I have a new yoga for you. It's This is Journey to Splits, number one. It's gonna be several of these to be determined. Hopefully a bunch, like every week. Um, but we're gonna be working on opening up your hips and your quads and just your legs so that we can easily or much more easily get into splits. So we're gonna work on this. And if any of the poses are too challenging, I'm doing a lot of um, different variations of traditional poses. So if they're too challenging, just don't do it. Just stick to as far as you can go in the traditional pose. That's perfectly fine. We're just going. You just you need to go as far as you can go. Stretch as much as you can. I'm going as far as I can go. You need to go as far as you can go. It's not going to be the same. We're all different. We're, but we're just all working on it together. So whatever is far enough for you, that's good because you're working, you're working hard and you're achieving what you need to achieve. Does that make any sense? <laughs> okay, so journey to splits. Let's get to it. I'm trying to keep this under, well, around a half hour. So let's see if we can do it. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna do three sun salutations to warm up. Stop my timers. Okay, so arms up overhead, hands in front of your feet, look at your knees, flat back, hands down, jump back to plank, shoulders forward, push up, tuck your feet, roll forward, upward dog, tuck your toes, steps up, downward dog. I know, they're always hard to start, <laughs> hard at first. Oh, tuck your feet to your hands, straighten the legs, look at your knees, and first movement. Two more, arms up, hands in front of your feet, look at your knees, flat back, hands down, plank, shoulders forward, push up, tuck your feet, roll forward, upward dog, tuck your toes, hips up, down. Hands, straighten the legs, look at your knees, reverse, and one more. Hands in front of your feet, look at your knees, flat back, jump and plank, push up, tuck your feet, roll forward, up, dog. Oh, dog, toes, hips up. Oh. Alright, to groan and sigh. <sighs> Means you're really working, working into the movements. <sighs> okay. Feet to hands, straight legs, look at your knees, and reverse. And now we're gonna do some Warrior Two variations. If you don't like these or you don't feel comfortable, stick to Warrior Two. You can even try, um, right angle pose, or triangle, or anything like that. Those are a little bit more stable. So I'll show you those as we go. Okay. Oh, I'm top. We gotta do some salutation to get back into this. Uh, hands up from your feet, plank. Tuck your feet, roll forward, upward dog. Tuck your toes, hips up. Now, raise one leg up, swing through, doing the right, getting the warrior two, so turn the back foot out parallel, 90 degree angle from the front right foot, come up. So if you want to stay here in warrior two, or you can reach, put your hand next to your foot, and do Right angle pose, you could either do bound, you can straighten the leg and put your hand on your foot and do triangle. I'm going to get up warrior two. Now, I'm going to put my hands together in prayer, reverse prayer behind my back. So palms together, hands up as 
high as you can. If you could go, if you can't go as high, it doesn't matter. Higher or lower, just wherever you get your hands. Okay. Sink deep in the warrior two. Now I'm gonna turn forward. And bow to this bowing, reverse prayer, warrior kind of lay on the leg. Don't totally collapse like this, you know, but really sink into this. Keep the stretch through the upper back or through the shoulders. And see, it's more of a bow. We're not collapsing and laying completely here. Your stomach will rest on your leg, your thigh here naturally. So come out of prayer, hands next to your foot, turn on the back foot, back to plank. Oh. Chaturanga, up oh, dog. Oh my, <laughs> my thigh. <laughs> Tuck your toes, hips up. Downward dog. Whew. Okay. Other leg. So left leg up. Or if you just did the left, do the right. Just always alternate. It's cool. Doesn't matter which order you go. Swing it through. Back foot down. 90 degree angle from the front. Up again to warrior two. And again. Whew. You can hold warrior two. Or right angle, or straighten the triangle, or bound, whichever you want to do. If you want to do those, or if you want to do what I'm doing, prayer, reverse prayer behind the back, palms together, high or low up the back, as high up the back as you can, but higher or lower than me, whatever's good for you. Just make sure you're bent in a good 90 degree angle on the front thigh, turn forward, and bow. Don't totally collapse. Stay straight and strong with the back leg. This is just to get a little bit deeper into the hips here, this way. That's why I like it. Then you get the shoulders involved a little bit. Then you got balance. One more deep breath. Out of prayer, hands next to your foot. Turn the back foot forward. Back to plank. Notice I can't even get in the plank. Oh, I'm gonna try, ready? Okay. Forward, chaturanga, tuck your feet, roll forward, upper dog, tuck your toes, hips up, downward dog. I'm already feeling it. This is tough, but you gotta really work your legs. Gotta really warm them up to do splits. Okay, so we're gonna switch legs again. I'm back on my right. Do whichever one you didn't just do. Swing through. Get in the warrior two again. This one, my ass is gonna be all up in your face on camera. It's just how it goes. <laughs> But now we're going to be doing bowing, hands bound warrior. So get into the warrior two. And you're going to clasp your hands together like we do in the wide legged standing forward bend. And we're going to bow in the warrior two like this. So you're going to bow forward. Keep the back leg straight 
and the front like that. I can get my head to the ground. You do not have to go this far. Do whatever's comfortable for you. If you can only, if you want to do the Warrior 2 variations I just showed you last time, do one of those again. Oh, I'm sliding. Oh, I gotta adjust a little bit. Because I want to hold this. You won't, don't want to be as far apart as usual because you're really going to slide. Um, but you can get into the right angle pose and triangle and the bound and hold that instead. Oh, this burns. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Come out. Oh. Back to plank. I'm gonna get in the plank. Okay. <laughs> Push up, tuck your feet, roll forward, upward dog. Tuck your toes, hips up. Oh, down. This last, last warrior pose. Oh, I know. I thought this would be more fun, but it's harder. Now switch legs. For me, I'm on my left. Oh, swing it through. Warrior two. And again, clasp. Hands behind you. And then forward. Okay, that feels really good. I'm really comfortable here. Again, stay more or two. Do the bound angle pose, the right angle pose, triangle, whichever one of those you like. If you don't want to do this, don't feel comfortable doing this. See, I'm keeping the back leg straight and strong still. Front leg is bent. I don't know if it's quite a 90 degree angle. I can't tell. I'm like upside down right now. But it should be bent. Knee not going out past the toes. Oh, God, up slowly. Back to the front, hands next to your foot, back to the plank. <laughs> I'm gonna get in the plank. Get in the plank with me. Okay. Last sun salutation. Tuck your feet, roll forward. Upward dog. Tuck your toes. Hips up. Oh. Jump your feet, your hands, straighten the legs, look at your knees, glasses are falling off the face, <laughs> reverse the movement, oh, okay, now we're going to do what I think is a little bit nicer of a variation, lizard, extended lizard tail, I promise it feels a little bit better, I promise, because lizard we always have the back leg up, and it's it's really tough. So, you want to kneel, step the right leg forward, get into a deep lunge here. You can bring the knee back, really extend the back leg out so it looks kind of like a like a lizard tail, and. Get as much, get as deep as you can here. You don't want the knee to go really past the ankle and definitely not past the toes. And now you're gonna come down onto your forearms on the inside of your foot. And stretch here. Hold this. It's better, right? <laughs> it's not as bad. Switch legs. One more deep breath. Okay. Oh. Right leg back. 
Left leg forward. Get comfortable here. Oh. After this, we're going to do chair. <laughs> chair pose is another, another tough one. But then it's a lot of stretching after that. We'll be adequately warmed up. So again, just get hips as open as you can here. Down on your forearms, inside of your foot. sure again that your knees not going out past your ankle or your toes. If it is, you need to adjust. Bring your foot further forward. Farther forward. Oh, I feel so much shoulders. <laughs> okay, one more deep breath. chair, it's a twisted chair, okay, so you have to sit your hips back like you're sitting back into a chair, <clears throat> and arms up overhead, as far up overhead as you can, you want to keep your chest up, don't sink, sink forward, you know, to the ground. So, okay. I start with my feet, a little bit of space, and move them closer together. Okay, so. Oh, my shorts are so tight. <laughs> Restricts my movement. So, hips back, down, down, down. Now I'm gonna bring my feet together. At the arms. There we go. And it's chair. And we're gonna go to twisted chair. So, bring your hands to your chest, and you twist to the side, get it centered in your chest. I like to put my hand down the ground, twist. Back to center, arms up. Don't let your knees go go forward. This should be pretty even with your uh, ankles. Okay, other side, twist. Really twist with the elbow. Hand on the ground if you want. If you can't do the twist, just stay in chair. Oh. Okay, back to center, hold chair. It's a little longer, oh my god. Three, two, one. Stand up. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay. Now we're just going to do a tree variation. Hand to foot, hand to knee tree. It just is a good quad stretch, a little bit different. So you're gonna take, I'm gonna start standing on my left leg, so I'll put the right leg up, and I'm gonna grab the right foot with my left hand, and open out like this. So, I'm just showing you before I do it so that, you're like, what's she doing behind her back there? All right, so stand strong on one leg, Grab the opposite foot in the opposite hand, and hand, you can pull it up, pull it right up to your glute, to right underneath your cheek, your butt cheek, <laughs> and open it out to the side, your hip out to the side, your leg, knee pointing out, and you should be able to rest your hand gently over your knee. And it really, Stretches the leg. I can't even hold it that long. <laughs> it's 
It's a really good stretch. Okay. I switch legs. I'm standing on the right leg, so now I'm grabbing the left foot with the right hand. Pull up to the glute, out to the side. And hand. Left hand rests over the left knee. Or if you're on the right, the right hand rests over the right knee. better, like the tighter and more firmly you can hold this, the deeper and more intense the stretch. Just another few seconds. One more. Okay. Come out. Okay. Now we're going to do pigeon. So, get down. Two. Downward dog. <clears throat> so up and down dog. Swing right leg up. Up between your hands. Bring the right knee to the right wrist. And get your hips down to the ground or as close to the ground as you can. Get, get comfortable. Get open wherever you need to be to be the most open. And you can start laying forward. I'm gonna stay up. And I like to grab that leg. Stretch. Mermaid. Keep bringing it closer, closer. If you want to try to get into king pigeon, one legged king pigeon. It's tough. <laughs> Forward, pulling the leg in. All right, switch legs like that, and let's get the downward dog again. Other leg from his left leg. Swing it up and swing it through. Left knee to left wrist. Or if you're the right, the right knee to the right wrist. Just keep switching sides. Just don't do the same sides twice in a row and never do the other. That's crazy. You'll have one muscular and <laughs> flexible side and one broken side. It'd be crazy. Crazy. Which one do that for? Come forward. Now. Back leg. This one always gives me trouble. I have so much trouble getting my hips. wants to turn in. I want it to open. Mermaid. As I say it and don't do it. <laughs> I think it's that the 
this hip is more open and the quad is tighter. I don't know, I can never get it quite right. Just one more time. There, trucking pigeon it feels like a long shot. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Alright. Down. Oh, okay. Leg out. Now we're gonna do one-legged frog in camel. So. We're going to be in camel pose, which is on your knees, like this, and I'm going to face you, and I'm going to start with the right leg, so I'm going to bring my right knee back about an inch or two, and grab the right, well I just did the right leg, that's okay, <laughs> grab the right foot, and pull it forward. And just stay up straight, don't collapse, <laughs> be strong and stable here. Squeezing your glutes, staying up strong and tight. And just pull the foot forward. I just thought this was a nice gentle stretch. We just got one more, my favorite after this, and then we'll, we're going to try to get no split. forward as you can. Just keep stretching. It's a gentle quad stretch. Right. Switch. So line up your knees again. Now step the left knee back a couple inches. Grab the left foot and the left hand. And same thing. Stretch. Just pull it forward. Almost done. <laughs> it's going to be just over 30 minutes with the final stretches. And you can take any of these stretches and do them for a lot shorter, a lot longer, whichever ones you like. You know, if you want to omit certain ones or do certain ones a lot longer or a lot shorter, do that. Do whatever works for you and really helps you dig deep and warm up and get your hips open so that you can do the splits or so you get closer and closer to being able to do it. Alright, one more deep breath. Okay. Now, garland. So, stand up and let's start with a deep squat. If deep squat is as far as you can go, work on that. So you get down into the deep squat. If you're up on your toes, work on getting your heels down. Just work, work, work on sitting as comfortably as you can here. You can even palms together and press with your elbows between your knees to rock back and forth and create more space. And if you're comfortable here, you can you have your heels down and you can stand firmly and comfortably through the whole foot. Bring your feet closer together. Stand firmly through the whole foot from heel to toe. And put your forearms on the ground. I like to keep two inches between my feet now to start. I can get comfortable here. So you can even do that. Get your feet as close together as you can. You can have some space between them. That's okay. You're working on it. And each time you do it, you'll be able to get them a little bit closer and closer and closer. 
or each time you work on it, you'll quickly be able to get into it, and you'll be able, you get deeper and deeper faster. So you'll be able to inch them closer and closer together each time because your body's getting used to it. So now we can put them together. There we go. Hands behind me. Palms up. And I can rest my head. It's just what my body wants to do. You go as deep as you can. You don't have to do what I'm doing. Stay wherever is comfortable for you in Garland. This is the critical pose for me though. This, I do this for any amount of time and I can get into splits. I can get into splits. So I want to really hold this till it's burning. Till it's really burning, till you can't stand it anymore. I know it's, I know it gets uncomfortable, but you need to hold it because it, you just hold it through that burning and it, it's opening up your hips so much that you're going to be able to get so close to getting into a split or you're going to be able to get into the split. Keep holding, just a little longer. Okay. Oh. Step your feet apart and do the deep squat again. Wide, feet wide. And we're gonna try to get into a split. If you have a yoga block nearby, grab that. If you need it, I'll show you why. And now, just try to get into the split. Bring one leg forward, extend the other leg back. And there we go. Now, if you're not able, use your yoga block. So put this underneath you, underneath your front thigh, and oh, you can rest here. And you can keep your hands off and get comfortable in this to really get comfortable in the splits position to work more on it. And then you can hang out here and forward, back, and really just feel the same sensations without being flat on the ground, just up on the yoga block. You can also do it with, you know, what else, pillow or like a rolled up blanket or a towel. You can use a blanket, towel. You don't really want to use like a book, it's a little too firm. Side. This is my tighter side, so let's see. <laughs> okay. Same thing. Bring the leg forward, leg back. Same thing, my hip turned a little bit this one. And again, same thing, you can have 
yoga block under the front thigh to support you. So you can still feel the sensation of the full stretch without having the thigh completely down on the ground. And again, then forward. A lot harder on this side for me. Okay, we did it. I hope you did it too. Now we're just gonna finish up. We're gonna just stretch to end it out. End things out. Sure. Grammar. <laughs> gonna do legs up the wall. So get get a wall. Get your wall. <laughs> Grab your wall. <laughs> you have a wall or like the side of something with just enough space to put your legs straight up it. You know, like a bookcase or something that's stable and you're not going to kick over. Don't kick over something, please. <laughs> Put your butt right up against it and swing your legs up. And flex your feet. Not pointing the toes up, flexing them towards you. And arms out straight to your sides. This is really good leg release. After all that stretching we just did. It's good to get the blood flow. We're almost finished here. I'm just gonna relax in this pose for a minute. And we're done. So lay on your back. Bring the right knee in over to the left. Down knee down on the ground. Right arm out to the right. Twist. Turn and look to the right. Twist through the the knee and the shoulder. Try to get your right shoulder down and keep the right knee down on the left and just feel the twist. This is the best stretch. It's so relaxing and good. It helps crack your back sometimes. Oh, nothing better. <laughs> One more deep breath. Okay, and bring it back in. Now, bring the left knee into the chest. Over to the right, left arm out to the left, look to the left, keep the left knee down to the right, and the left shoulder in the ground, and twist, twist through both. If you can't keep your shoulder down, that's, that's what we're doing here. You're working to do that. You're working to get the shoulder down, and keep the shoulder down, and the knee down. That's what you're working towards. The longer you stay in this, the closer you're going to get. And the more often you do it. So keep twisting. And one more deep breath. Okay. Back to center. And we're just going to do corpse. I'm going to do supported corpse. Yoga blocks, because I love it. So, one underneath 
back here. And one supporting head, neck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just, I love this. I love it. You can just lay flat on the ground, too. Relax everything, but I think this just feels stellar. <laughs> And you can stay here as long as you want. We're approaching 40 minutes. So we're probably just going to stay here for like 30 seconds. One more deep breath. Oh, I can stay there all day. <laughs> all right, we're done. Just under 40 minutes. <sighs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. I hope you were able to get into a split. If not, I hope you got so much closer to getting into the split. There's going to be a bunch of these routines. We're going to keep keep going, keep working on it. So, you know, you can do this a couple times a week to really, or just even some of the exercises from this. You don't have to do the whole thing if you don't want to, or you don't like some of the exercises, but just keep working on it at least a few times um, during the week, a few, day, a few days during the week, if not every day, a little bit and you're really gonna make progress getting so much closer into a split. So I hope you got into a split or you got so much closer to getting into a split, so much deeper. I hope you feel really good hip and leg stretch and just stretch in general. I hope you're relaxed. Let me know, let me know if you like this, if you're excited to do more of this. Um, yeah, just let me know. And the full post about this is going to be up on jiggityjack.com. So come, subscribe, sign up, like, share, tweet, comment. <laughs> comment, let me know. Grab your free nutrition facts checklist. That thing is awesome and I can't recommend you grabbing it enough because it just takes the guesswork out of your shopping experience because it's you look at the nutrition panels of foods and it's like, what? What? <laughs> What is all this? Why do I care? I don't. And then you just buy whatever. And it's like, I, I don't care. This is insane. <laughs> this breaks it down and it makes it so much easier. Look at the glare on my glasses. You can't even see that I have eyes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. So, okay. I'll see you next time. Like, subscribe, and share. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see more of. I have so much amazing stuff coming. And we're going to keep going. Journeying to splits. And yeah, I hope you liked it. I hope it felt good. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.